Welcome to where time begins. No, I haven't time traveled back through time. Although, time traveling would be pretty cool. But I've come to the Greenwich Park, where the Greenwich Royal Observatory is. Now, do you remember back in the Rarotonga lesson where we talked a little bit about time zones? Well, we're going to go into that a bit further today. Now, you may have seen the time before where it has the numbers and then has three letters after it, like GMT. Well, GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time. And Greenwich Mean Time is where the time zones start and finish. There is a line over there that is exactly where the time zones start and where they finish. For time zones to make sense, they need somewhere where they can start and somewhere where they can finish. The Earth is split into 24 different time zones, giving us the 24 hours in the day. Now the first time zone starts here in Greenwich, and the last time zone ends here in Greenwich. This is important for us to know, so we can know what the time is all around the world. Okay, let's talk about some different time zones. In Wellington, in New Zealand, it is plus 12 GMT. That means that it's 12 hours or 12 time zones ahead of London. So if it's 7 o'clock in the morning in London, that means that it's 7 o'clock at night in Wellington. Let's look at a country like Jamaica. They are minus 5 GMT. That means that they are 5 hours behind London. So if it's 7 in the morning in London, that means it's 2 in the morning in Jamaica. And China is plus 8 GMT. So how many hours ahead of London is that? You got it. It is eight hours ahead. That means that at seven in the morning in London, it's going to be three o'clock in the afternoon in China. So let's see if we can have a go at these ones. A few weeks ago, I was talking to my friend back in New Zealand. And because it was the middle of summer, we were talking about how light it was outside. It was 9 p.m. in London, but it still looked like it was the middle of the day. Now, because New Zealand's on the opposite side of the world, it was the middle of winter, and the sun was setting really early. And she said to me, can you explain to me why this happens? So, I'll have a go. So, here is the Earth. You may think that it is straight up and down, but actually, the Earth is on an angle around a 23.4 degree angle to be exact. Your older brother or sister may think that the world revolves around them, but actually the Earth revolves around the Sun. It takes 365 days for the Earth to go around the Sun. As the Earth goes around the Sun, it is also spinning on its own axis. Now the tilt is the most important part when talking about the seasons. Let's look at the Northern Hemisphere. When it's here, it is tilted towards the sun. This is called summer. As the Earth moves around the sun during the year, the tilt stays the same. That means that when it is over here, the Northern Hemisphere is now tilting away from the sun, making it winter. The Southern Hemisphere is now tilting towards the Sun, making it summer. That is why the Northern and Southern Hemisphere have different seasons. As it comes back around to complete the year, it passes through a period where the Hemisphere are tilted neither towards or away. This is Autumn and Spring. So this summer you get more daylight because you are tilted more towards the Sun meaning that when you are tilted away from the sun in winter, you get less sun hours. Okay, now we know that the seasons happen because of the way the Earth tilts. So, in an Auckland summer's day, you get around 14 daylight hours. But in a London summer day, you get around 16 daylight hours. But why are there different amounts if they're both in summer? Well, 
The more daylight hours you get depends on how close you are to either the North or the South Pole. This is because in summer, one of the poles is tilted towards the sun. For the Northern Hemisphere, the North Pole gets lots of daylight hours in summer. The countries that are closer to the North Pole get longer daylight hours too because they are close to the parts that are getting the most amount of sun. The countries in the middle of the Earth don't get as many daylight hours because they are not close to either of the poles. Now, because London gets more daylight hours in their summer than Auckland does in their summer, that must mean that England is closer to the North Pole than Auckland is to the South Pole. You know how I was saying that the closer a country is to one of the poles, the more daylight hours they get in summer? Well, in summer, in some countries, the sun barely goes down. But that means in winter, the sun barely comes up. Darkness all the time. Oh. There is a really special place called the Arctic Circle. And on the summer solstice, which is the longest day in the Northern Hemisphere, they get 24 hours of daylight. That's the whole day. And if you're lucky enough to be there on this time or around this time, you may get to see the midnight sun. Around about midnight, the sun makes its way towards the horizon, but it doesn't dip below the horizon. It just goes right back up. Now, it's like it's thinking, oh, I might go to bed now. Actually, no, I'm gonna stay up all night. What a party animal. Okay, now that you have all this amazing information going on in your head, it is time for maths. Statistics, in fact. Teachers, I want you to pause the screen here and ask your students, what do we know about statistics? So, what do we know? We know that there's data, we know that you have to investigate and display that data. We know that you have to make statements about what you can see. And then we know that you have to end with a conclusion. Now teachers, on the resources for this week are all the things that you need, including the lesson plan. So, I'm gonna leave you guys to do it now because I can't do it for you. Statistics is all about you guys investigating. So have fun, all right. While you guys go and do that, and remember to let me know how you go when you're finished, I'm gonna try and get as much sun as possible. It's just become autumn here. The leaves are falling, the wind's getting chillier, and soon the sun is gonna set at 4 p.m. Oh no! Bye guys.